human culture has never existed separate from access to beer in some form. So it's really a part of who we are and what we do. Eugene is such a wonderful community. It's such a balance between um, having kind of a social life and also being kind of a small town. And people here also are very quality of life oriented. Um, craft, you know, products are part of, you know, the lifestyle here, so. Nikos and I were acquaintances. We knew each other for over the course of years. And basically over a conversation of beer at the Beerstein, uh, sort of started from there. He was at the point um, in his career where he was uh, on the path of starting his own brewery. I had some skills. I was working in the finance industry and had some of the sort of business, banking, startup skills that uh, he lacked. And so we got things going. I got a crash course in brewing and <laughs> it's just the two of us. Uh, when I met Jamie, he had already been pretty intentional about sort of getting the idea for the brewery and had the name already. And Ninkasi is the uh, Sumerian goddess of fermentation. So it ties back to the origins of brewing and origins of society, really. And his goal was really to be the kind of village brewer or the spot where you know, people come together. The entire brewery when we moved in all fit back in here. Basically there was a 20 barrel system and four fermenters along this wall. Basically nomadic tribes uh, became agrarian to grow barley to make bread and beer with and through that process invented written language and classes and schools and taxes even. And those brewers helped orchestrate all of those actions so it's that cultural relevance from the very beginning of beer. Um, kind of comes forward. Well, happy yeah. Sunday! What's up? Well, not going, brother. <laughs> Good. How are you guys? Fantastic. Good. I think the craft beer industry in general is very environmentally conscious, so we do what we can. A lot of our focus is on the regionality of what we're doing, the supply chain. We have access to um, ingredients in our region that are all the key components of making beer. Local hop cooler. Hop cooler, one of the most delicious smelling areas of the brewery. We're Lucky to live in the Pacific Northwest, birthplace of pretty much all of the hops that we use. We have great relationships with the hop industry, with the farmers who grow our beers. It's a lot of fun. We can do events out, go to the hop fields, go do hop selection directly, and uh, it's kind of cool to have that direct connection. And then additionally, reduction of resource use. We have solar panels. Our new facilities are LEED certified, so just a lot of the aspects that go into that, energy conservation and you know, each of these aspects of the brewery also fall in line with the brewery itself in terms of its operations. So the, the new boilers in the uh, brewery over there run on a 40% of the energy that it normally takes to get the same BTU load. So in each one of those situations, we can isolate ways to make beer more efficient, which is good because the cost of input goods continually goes straight up. But the price of beer stays relatively flat compared to those trends, so it's really up to us to also be as efficient as we can, just uh, for our business as well as for the environment around us. We want to build the facility that we will have forever forward into the future, so it's much larger probably than we're going to need right away. I wouldn't call it excessive, but it's definitely <laughs> uh, substantial. And you know, we just decided that that's what we were going to do, and we made it happen. Well, I think our intention was to create a regional brewery and a spot for Eugene to be proud of. But really, I mean, since we started, it's felt like pretty much continuous change. I mean, we've been installing our fifth brew house in seven years, and it's been that sort of bootstrap, add something new, change the layout, more equipment every month. And this will be the first time that we'll have the opportunity to really have a facility that we'll be able to grow into. When people get hired at Ninkasi, they're expected to be themselves, and this is a real testament to that sort of theory, where there's less closets for people to stuff themselves in and be hidden from each other while they work. This is a testament to how we all work together to create what's awesome about Ninkasi in the world every day. We put a lot of intention and a lot of thought into this facility holistically, and it's it's been a pretty fun process, but we're really excited for the point that we're at right now.